one kilogram block oscillates back and forth along a straight line on a frictionless horizontal surface. Its displacement from the origin is given by the following function. A. What is the oscillation frequency? B. What is the maximum speed acquired by the block? C. At what value of x does this occur? D. What is the magnitude of the maximum acceleration of the block? E. At what value of x does this occur? And F. What force applied to the block by the spring results in the given oscillation? So I'm going to begin by writing down what we know. So we know that the mass of the block is equal to 0 0.1 kilograms. We know that the amplitude is equal to 10 centimeters here, 0 0.1 meters. And we know that the angular frequency is equal to 10 radians per second. which is this value right here. So in A, they're asking us for the angular, what is the oscillation frequency? So we know that the angular frequency is equal to two pi times the frequency. So then the frequency is simply the angular frequency, which is 10 all over two pi, which is equal to one point five nine two hertz b what is the maximum speed acquired by the block so maximum speed is equal to the angular frequency times the amplitude which is equal to 10 times 0 0.1 and this is equal to one meter per second meter per second see at what x value does this maximum speed occur. We know that the maximum speed always occur when there's zero displacement. So this is at x equals zero. For d, it's asking us what's the maximum acceleration. And acceleration amplitude is equal to angular frequency squared times the amplitude. And this is 10 squared times 0 0.1 and this gives us 10 meters per second squared. So when does, this is the magnitude of the acceleration, at what value of x does this occur? So what value of x is their maximum acceleration? That is at the amplitudes. So x equals plus or minus 0 0.1 meters. This is where there's maximum acceleration. And then for F, what force applied to the block by the spring results in this given oscillation? So there's two ways we can do F equals kx or F equals ma. We'll just do ma is equal to 10 times 0 0.1. And this gives us one newton of force applied to the block at the amplitudes to give this oscillation.